Heidi, welcome. Thank you. I hear that you collected 230 signatures at the National Bible Bee. Tell us about that. I pretty much used all my spare time going around to all the contestants <laughs> and asking them to sign my program beside their names. That's great. I, did I sign that? I probably did at yeah, one I point. Yeah, I think you did. So I'm one of those. But you've also memorized over 700 verses. And would you like to recite one for us now? Yes. All right, here we go. Heidi, please recite Isaiah 6, 1 through 5. Isaiah 6, 1 through 5. In the year of King Uzziah's death, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, lofty and exalted, with the train of His robe filling the temple. Seraphim stood above Him, each having six wings. With two He covered His face, and with two He covered His feet, and with two He flew. And one called out to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of His glory. And the foundations of the thresholds trembled at the voice of Him who called out, while the temple was filling with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, for I am ruined, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Isaiah 6, 1-5. through You know, every time I read or hear that verse, I'm reminded of my puniness as a man and the greatness of God. R.C. Sproul has a sermon on the holiness of God, one of the most powerful things I've ever heard. But Isaiah, in the light of God's holiness, saw who he was. But then the hope that we have in Christ is, as scripture says, that he becomes the Lord, our righteousness. Because, you know, it becomes hopeless when you look and you see God's holiness, your unholiness, and that's where you're left. But when you recognize because of what Christ did, we can receive his righteousness. It's mind blowing. Well, you know, that, that scripture, or should I say that passage. Yes. <laughs> Get it right. That passage starts out and we can't, we, we don't want to just skip over what it says right at the beginning. In the year that King Uzziah died. Mm -hmm. You know, in that year was a really dark time in history. In the year that King Uzziah died, it looked like the culture was going to hell in a hat basket. I tell you what, in the year that King Uzziah died, the Jews had no clue what God was doing. It was then when it was darkest, when everybody felt like, oh, there's no more hope. It was at that moment that God's word came in to Isaiah. And he says, there, there, is, there are angels who are around the throne right now singing, holy, holy, holy. Mm -hmm. And you want to know what's happening right now as you're sitting here waiting on your score? Same thing. Those same angels are singing that same song. And in each one of our lives in this audience, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how dark it gets, because in the year of your darkness, there is a God who is in heaven and he is surrounded by these angels and they're singing holy and you get an opportunity to live your life and to stay put right where you are because God will come through when he sees fit. Amen. Heidi, that verse talks about how we are imperfect before a perfect God. However, you just recited that passage, word perfect for 1,000 points. Great job. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect.